Hey, Matthew Haviland here with Keller Williams Realty. I'm at Chica's Ranch and they have an off-track thoroughbred racing rescue program here. Today I'm actually volunteering, our whole office is here, volunteering to help this organization. And I'm gonna show you around and uh, find out a little bit more what they do here. And if you're looking for an off-track thoroughbred race course to adopt, I'm gonna share with you how that program works as well. So thanks for joining me. Chica's Ranch is located in Buna, New Jersey and it's part of the organization called Turning for Home. All right, hi, my name is Allie Montgomery. I am the project manager over here at Chica's Ranch and with another spin, and I'm here with... Other project manager, my name is Julia Riso, and I'm, you know, hands-on in the barn, taking care of the horses every day, um, feeding, riding, Healing, scooping poop, rehabbing. rehabbing, the whole nine yards, I'm, you know. Okay, so we are uh, Chica's Ranch and we are Another Spin, which is a partner with Turning for Home, meaning we are a partner farm. We rehab and rehome OTCB thoroughbreds after they're done racing. So what that usually looks like is coming in for any reason, whether they're two years old and just couldn't race or they're 15 years old and they've, they've made $500,000 and they've done it. Um, we bring them in, we kind of figure out what their different issues are and how we can we came a, get a game plan for them, how to fix them, and then determine what kind of retraining they need to find their forever homes. What do you want to say about it? Um, that's pretty much the gist of it. I mean, every horse is different and they all have different stories and <laughs> different personalities and it's just a matter of finding out, you know, what horse is able to do what, whether they want to go run barrels and do western stuff or if they want to jump jumps and do all of the English stuff. Um, it's our job to kind of figure out what lifestyle would be best for them after the racetrack and get them into a home that is best suited for each individual horse. So Julia is the English to my western. Um, it's really, really great here. We have about 10 different riders that um, volunteer their time to help you know transition these horses uh, they come in and like we said we do the rehab for an extended period of time whether it's one month or six um, fixing whatever they had wrong with them um, whether it's a bow tendon or you know they're just coming in a little bit sore off the track and then we're able to determine whether they're gonna jump jumps dressage whatever and when she does the English side of it with an experience in, in hunter jumpers and that whole English side I kind of take over anyone that kind of fits towards the western style, the barrel racers, the, the cow sorters. Um, so we're actually able to determine sweet. all these sweet faces and what they'd be good doing. <laughs> uh, so that's a little bit about us and the Another Spin program with Turning for Home out of uh, Buna, New Jersey. So it's feeding time. This is Kite. He's going to be here for nine months. He's got a really bad injury. And he's got to stay in the stall for nine months. <laughs> so the adoption process with another spin is pretty simple. So we take after our mother company, Turning for Home, and everyone fills out an adoption application. The adoption application basically gives us information about who the rider is, what kind of riding they want to do, what kind of horse they're looking for, their experience, what vets they look for. It's, it's very, very intrusive, um, but for a good reason. We want to make sure these horses go to the perfect match. I mean, like I said, every horse is an individual and it's our job to make sure that they end up in a situation that's best for them. And we're really thorough and we ask a lot of questions and there's a lot of paperwork involved, but it's all in the best interest of the horses to make sure that, you know, sometimes like with the horse that we introduced earlier, Tide, she ended up in a bad situation. She ended up in a kill pen and it's, you know, we try our best to avoid that because we love every single horse like they're our own and we want to make sure that they get you know the happily ever after that they deserved after they've worked so hard on the racetrack. Adoption application usually starts with whether it's a message, an email or whatever, or an interest in a certain horse. We are we do our best to promote them on social media as well as our website, um, create a profile for everyone to let them know what this horse, what we think this horse would be great doing. Um, and from there, like I said, the adoption application, every um, one is also required to fill a RFR, which is a right of first refusal, meaning that if you were to take a horse and 
you know, in four years, if COVID were to hit again and there was another um, pandemic or something crazy and you end up in a hard situation, the horses can always come back to us or if not us, turning for home. We will always take a horse back no matter what. We're here for the horses. That is, that is our end goal. So that's what the adoption application looks like. And um, we're, we're thankful that we probably move close to uh, two to four horses every week, if not more, get their forever homes and gives us the ability to bring new ones in. Hey, buddy. Hi, hey, buddy. You want to run, huh? We do have different costs that are involved in this. Obviously, bringing in the OTTBs, there is a, a lot of vetting that is involved, so we do charge. Um, we Usually what we do is a security deposit, um, and you know each horse has its own price. It's always lower than anything else. These horses are not usually finished horses. They're not green either. They're somewhere in the middle. They're started. They're ready for someone who wants to you know take them on as a project and mold them into whatever they'd like. Um, so the prices for them are usually, you know, pretty affordable. Um, our costs start at $800 and usually fall between $2,000 to $3,000 for a horse, um, with some exceptions. Obviously, if we have a unicorn come in, who is absolutely amazing, and we see that, you know, we can make a little bit extra money um, for said horse and help build the program, we will do so. But that helps with the other horses that, you know, we have 90 days in the stall just sitting with six x-rays to find out that they can't make it. So that's, that's the cost. So if you're interested in OTTB, horse rescue and adoption, I'm going to have all the links in the video description. You can learn more about Chica's Ranch and learn more about their adoption program and uh, come learn more about these horses. Thanks for watching. Learn more at chicasranch.com. Contact them and schedule a tour if you're in the Buna, New Jersey area in South Jersey. You definitely want to check out this amazing farm and the work that you're doing here to rescue these incredible animals. Thanks for watching.